Hi, this is a video about Handy Data Logger for Android. So, so I bring them up, bring up the app. Right, up the top, there's you can have one or more parameters that you're going to look, record data for. So in this case, I've got my app sales and my rainfall. So when I've got some um, rainfall data that I want to record, so I've got a, a rain gauge outside, records the rain each day. When I want to record that, I just press the log data button brings up this dialog which defaults to showing me the current date and allows me to enter the rainfall. So today I had 2.5 millimeters. So enter the value. Now if I want to see how much rainfall for the month, I can view it as a table. So I can see that first, second, second, third, fourth, fifth, I've had rain and then the 14th and 16th I've had rain. Um, entries which are gray, I haven't recorded anything for entries which are black as there's a recording stored in the database. Right, so down the bottom, it shows me the total um, for the month. So in this case, 93 millimeters so far. Um, how many days in the month, 31, and the average, th so three millimeters. So if I wanted instead to view it as a graph, I could bring up the view graph option. <laughs> Say I wanted to select, uh, view the graph for a past year, 2007, which was quite an interesting year. Okay, so it brings up the graph. Now, you can see that um, I think in uh, July I had a, um, a big rainfall event, uh, 544 millimetres. The rest of the year was pretty average. Now, if I want to view the um, rainfall for all, all years, I can view that too. So here we go, 2006 through 2005. You can see that the um, maximum rainfall was um, 1839 millimeters. Um, we can turn on a trend line if we want to see basically how the, the data is trending. So based on this information in this graph, it's getting drier over the years progressively. So that's the trend. <clears throat> and the other um, category I've got here is app sales. So if I, for example, want to view the graph um, for a selected year, when I first started developing apps, 2012, there we go. So income started off almost to zero and was increasing over the year. So what we can do is we can press this I button tells us how many data values are stored in the database for that um, parameter. So in this case, app sales, I've recorded 39 months worth of data there. Um, rainfall, um, I've got 186 parameters. We can also um, import data into the currently selected parameter and we can export data. So export is a good way of backing up the data. Um, so if you're using this app, I, I recommend periodically you say export um, just export to do a CSV file on your SD card. Um, and then if you um, need to, you can recover it from that, that file by using the import option. And, uh, you know, of course, if you get a new phone, you can transfer the data across. Um, also, there's an option to delete data for a particular day, month, year, or all years for this parameter. So for rainfall, if I want to delete today's entry, if I entered the wrong value and I I um, realized I'd entered it for the wrong date or whatever. I can just go delete that. Value deleted now if I view it in the table um, for this month. No value for the 16th. Um, so you can view the table by month, year, all years, or all data. So if I view the rainfall by all years, you can see, you know, the rainfall was uh, 1,000 millimeters in 2006, and, and the wettest year was. 1800 in 2007. Um, so it gives me the average rainfall for, per year, which is 1300 down here, which is about right for this area. So that's the Handy Data Logger app. Um, I hope you find this app useful. And that's all. Bye.